Well, hello again, and welcome to part 10. We finally got out of the nines since we got our, our antenna finally squared away. Uh, today's uh, video, of course, uh, as you already know, is about the, uh, the antenna tuner. The antenna tuner has arrived from MFJ Enterprises down in Starkville, Mississippi. And uh, it got here in like record time. I mean, it was like bada bing, bada boom, it was here. It was delivered by uh, UPS. And uh, I did not expect it actually until Monday. Uh, today is Saturday. I did not expect it until Monday, maybe Tuesday, but it, it arrived here yesterday, which was Friday. So we're going to, I'll get the, uh, I don't know much about this thing yet. I have to get together with uh, Glenn. He's going to show me, you know, some of the things. Now, I've done a little reading. Uh, a book came with it, a instruction manual, and also a catalog of all their products. And, uh, Glenn's going to show me a few things. I have done some reading on it. We're going to bring the camera off the tripod and take a closer look. And I'll tell you what I know up to this point. I've done a little reading uh, in the instruction manual, manual they gave us. I also had done a little studying on the internet. I read a few things about the, uh, the uh, Deluxe Versa Tuner 2. And I know a little bit about it. Not much right now. It's, it can handle 300 watts, up to 300 watts. And... Uh, these vertical red lines that you see here, uh, there's a needle right there, and there's another needle right there. And those two needles will cross. And they'll, they'll do a little little cross kind of a deal like that. One needle will come up this way, and the other needle will come up this way, and then they'll meet in the middle and do a cross, similar to the way my fingers are right here. And where they cross those red lines is what I'm looking for. Uh, where they cross, you look at the closest vertical red line. And that will give you your SWR. And uh, the antenna selector is divided into two sections, the orange letters. Uh, one side says tuned and the other one says bypass. Uh, I'll probably be using bypass, I think, more than tuned. I'm not exactly 100% certain. Like I said, I'll wait till Glenn comes over to give me more information on that. And this is the button to select uh, 300 or... 30 watts. This is your on off switch right here. And transmitter uh, button, your inductor button, and your antenna button. And on the rear, this thing can handle a balanced uh, line, balanced uh, feed line. It can also handle a, just a, a random straight wire. Uh, if you use a balanced feed line, you have to jump these two together. It says right there install jumper wire when using balanced line antenna. And uh, my transmitter will be connected here. And if you have two antennas, you could connect, you know, one antenna going one way, and one antenna going another, uh, maybe a east-west and a north-south. Uh, I'll be, I only have one, and uh, so my antenna will be connecting here. And of course, the ground will have to also connect to the ground on the trans, uh, on the transceiver, which will go back to earth ground. I have a really good ground system set up in my bench. Uh, power. You can get you can get a kit that's a little power supply thing, probably a little wall wart or something like that, that provides 12 volts DC to light the lamp, the or the uh, the the light bulb inside this thing. Without that kit, it doesn't light. I'm not too crazy about that idea. It seems to me they could figure out a way to light that light without having to buy a separate 12 volt supply. And the light, of course, would be behind the meter. That's the only thing I don't like about it so far. So we'll see how the rest of it goes. So until, uh, that's all I can tell you right now, except that uh, there's a little red sticker on the, about, on the bottom. It says BE-102010, probably October 20th, uh, 2010. And it has number 7 under there. So I assume BE is the inspector, and number 7 would be their inspector number, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, so if you are BE and you inspected this little jewel, well, you're going to be famous. You're on my YouTube video. <laughs> well, that's it until Glenn gets here. I'm going to give, have him give me the complete runaround on this thing, and then I'll get back with you uh, after he leaves and uh, show you what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to tune up my antennas, and uh, I think we only have one more video after that, and that'll be me making my first contact. Well, today is uh, Wednesday, the, uh, I believe it's the 10th, yeah, the 10th of November, and it's about, oh, five minutes to nine. I'm waiting for Glenn to come over. As you can see, I managed to clean my desk off where I can get some space, and this, uh, 
this rig here uh, it just shoves over to the left I've got it out right now with the microphone to help uh, uh, Glenn a little better when he when he arrives and I also stuck my uh, I put up a shelf like I told you a couple of videos ago and I finally got my AM transmitter and my uh, isolation transformer next to that I moved my uh, boat anchor over here and next to my uh, transoceanic and it's just uh, just waiting right now for him to arrive I wanted to set this uh, tuner this antenna tuner on top of the uh, transmitter transceiver but it's too much heat too much heat coming out of there I don't know if it would affect it or not uh, so I'm not going to take the chance that's the only new thing that I have on this entire bench everything you see here is old uh, with the exception of this item right here now an old tube unit is a little bit different than uh, well it's a whole lot different actually than a, a solid state setup uh, I have to tune this first then I have to go up and tune this now you don't have to do that with uh, solid, the new solid state stuff uh, you only would have to use uh, the antenna tuner the, the solid state stuff doesn't require all this finalizing of tubes and all this other jazz so next time uh, you see me uh, Glenn will have arrived I hope if, if he does if he's unavailable today uh, he said he would arrive on Thursday so we'll see what happens stand by to stand by Glenn brought over a amateur radio band chart here and uh, he's gonna run down on this thing and kind of give you an idea what this looks like Incidentally, that, that radio's been running now for about an hour and a half, so it's well warmed up, okay? I got it all ready for you. Okay, it's not working, folks. The transmit side, whenever he hits the microphone, after making his adjustments on the... Uh, we haven't even got to the tuner yet. Whenever he makes his adjustments on the transceiver, and he hits the microphone, I'm supposed to... The needle's supposed to go to about right there, and it's slamming over to the right, and my amp meter over here is showing that the radio's drawing almost 5 amps, see it? Not good. And uh, do it one more time. I don't know if he has. See? Not good. Got to do some troubleshooting. Okay, we found the problem. Uh, here, let me give you a little AC. We found the problem uh, in the uh, high voltage cage here. I'm not. It's in the high voltage cage here, and when he keys the mic, what was happening is we were getting sparks. So let's uh, let it warm up here for a couple of seconds, and then we'll kind of give you an idea of what we've been seeing. I'm ready. Go ahead. All right, here he goes. They're both doing it. They're both doing it. They're both sparking. That is not cool. I'm going to have to uh, find out what's going on with that. All righty. Not supposed to do that. They're supposed to like what glow up instead of uh, sparking. Alright, yeah, so have to work on it. Well, more fun and games, folks. <laughs> you know, you think you're just about there and then you get set back, you know, you know, two steps forward and four steps back or something like that. I forget how that old saying goes, but so now I'll spend some time troubleshooting this transmitter section. It's kind of interesting. I've never worked on a transmitter before. So it's going to be a learning experience. But in the next couple of days, I hope to have at least some answers. I'm going to go through the entire thing, wire by wire, uh, component by component. And I'll get back to you as quickly as I can to get this thing, this entire series, finally wrapped up. For those of you who have been hanging in there. So what a revolting development this is.